Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my best time-saving hacks, because let's face it, as a busy mom or a busy person, you might feel like you have no time or that some days you're just not productive. So the tips I'm gonna give you today are things that I do that allow me to get loads done in a short amount of time, and I hope you really like them. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, and if you like hacks, I have so many hack videos and so many hacks up my sleeves that I would love to have you, so please consider subscribing. And with all that said, let's get into the video. And a huge thank you to Blinkist for sponsoring today's video. They are one of my favorite time-saving hacks when it comes to multitasking. And if you don't know what Blinkist is by now, it's an app that you can download to your phone and it allows you to read or listen to a book in just 15 minutes. So they take the best insights and key information from over 3,000 non-fiction books. They condense it all down to just 15 minutes and you can listen to it podcast style. I don't know about you, but since becoming a mum, I find it very difficult to actually find the time to sit down and read a book. So for me, it works so well that I could be listening and taking in the highlights of a book while I'm multitasking. So I listen to Blinkist while I'm putting my makeup on in the morning, when I'm cooking, when I'm cleaning or working out. And I love that I can still be reading and learning something new. It might be about self-development, it might be about parenting or things to do with work, but there's so many different categories on the Blinkist app, there is literally something for everyone. And they don't only do the little short blinks as they call them, which is the whole book condensed. They do also have full length audiobooks if that's what you like, or they now do short casts as well, so they'll actually condense down popular podcasts so you can get to the heart of a podcast really quickly. And Blinkist have also said that the first 100 of my viewers to click on the link in my description will get unlimited access to the Blinkist app for a whole week, and it's completely free to try. You can cancel it at any point in the seven days, but if you do like it, you'll also get 25% off a full membership. So you can test it out for yourself, see if you love it as much as I do, but just for instance, this morning when I was doing my makeup, I listened to the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, which was 16 minutes. And I also recently listened to The Power of Showing Up, but there's so many good titles on there, literally something for every interest, whether it's marriage, mindfulness, working out, fitness, like there's literally something for everyone. So anyway, that link will be in the description. My next time-saving hack is to wake up a little bit before the kids because you can get so much more done when they're asleep. As soon as they're awake, they're gonna want feeding, they're gonna be asking you questions, they're gonna need help with things. So even just waking up 15 minutes earlier than them in the morning means you might be able to have a quick shower and put some clothes on for the day, and that can be a game changer. And recently I actually tried the 5 a.m. wake up challenge and there were loads of benefits to that, but it's not something that I could commit to long term. But even just waking up 15 minutes, 30 minutes before the kids means that you might be able to get your makeup on, your clothes, maybe start on lunches, just little things like that. You can do things so much quicker. Another huge tip, which is gonna save you so much time in the morning, is do not go on social media first thing in the morning. It is the biggest time zapper. So you might think, oh, I'll just watch a couple of reels on Instagram, and the next thing you know, you're sat there 15 minutes later still scrolling. So I try not to go on social media until our morning routine is all done. My next tip is something that I repeat to myself often, and that is that done is better than perfect. I think there's lots of perfectionists out there and sometimes that can stop you from getting a task done. If you can't get it exactly how you want it, you might just avoid it completely. But it's such a time saver if you just go head on and get it done. And I actually had some comments recently on my garage transformation. People saying that it wasn't perfectly labeled or it wasn't perfectly Marie Kondo'd but we still got it done and it's so much cleaner now. So you don't have to worry about like having all the right organizational boxes and all of that. Just get it done. And another little tip when it comes to your phone is if you find that you get very distracted from all of the notifications coming through when you're trying to get work done or play with the kids, then the iPhone has a really good setting called do not disturb. So you just pull the top down and hit the little moon button and then you'll stop all the notifications and buzzing, but it's a a great little setting because if someone calls you more than once, it will allow that call to come through so you won't actually miss any emergencies. 
My next tip is to consolidate food shopping and errands, and this will save you so much time and money as well. So what we do is once a week, we will do our grocery shopping and we do it online. Online shopping is such a time saver. And the thing that I love the most is once you have done one like online food shop, it remembers the stuff that you like. And often you're ordering or buying the same kinds of foods each week. So it's even quicker for us now. We can just go online and like re-put things back into our basket, order anything new, and it just arrives. And it's like the most time-saving thing. I'll often just order our food while I'm watching TV in the evening. So it doesn't feel like this big task of going to the shops. And also, if you do need to run errands, try and just do it once a week, like on a specific day. If you're running to the bank one day, and then the post office the next day, and then to the pharmacy the next day, it will actually take up so much time. But if you aim to run your errands all at once, you'll save loads of time. And while we're talking about food, I couldn't not mention meal planning and meal prepping. These are such time savers and I have a meal planning printable that I'll link below. But if you think about all the meals that you're gonna have for the week at once, it saves you so much time and thought during the week. You don't have to think about what are we gonna do for dinner because you've already planned it. And same with meal prepping, it's such a time saver. I've made so many videos about it, so I'll link some down below. But if you find meal prepping quite daunting, even just doing things like washing and cutting up fruit and having that in the fridge and washing and cutting up veg as well, then you have that on hand for meals and for snacks as well for the kids. And I often get asked how long that actually will last in the fridge, but it lasts for a good three to five days. Another foodie hack is to batch cook. So when you are actually making a meal, make double or triple it, and then you can put some of it into the freezer and your future self will thank you. I've also made some videos on slow cooker dump bags. So if you spend an hour one day making loads of slow cooker dump bags, then you can have them in your freezer on hand for a morning when you are rushing out the door and you can just stick it into your slow cooker and it's so easy. The next time saving hack feels like it's taking you longer to begin with, but then it actually saves you so much time and it is the stack to unpack dishwasher method. So this is just grouping things together when you're stacking your dishwasher. So put all the forks together, all the spoons together, all the knives together, all the side plates together and so on. And that way when you're actually unloading your dishwasher, it makes it so quick and easy to do. And the next tip is such a simple one, but I thought it was worth saying in case it's something that you don't have yet. And that is to have a family WhatsApp group so that you can update your family on the kids really easily. This was especially great during the pandemic, but say yesterday, Caleb learned how to do a backflip and he wanted everyone to know about it. So I just uploaded a video onto the family group and then all of his aunts and uncles and grandparents saw that he can now do a backflip and I didn't have to message everyone individually. Everyone feels connected to us and it's just really quick and easy. Another tip is to reorganize your home based on how often you use things. So recently we had a declutter and I really thought about if things were in the right place. So for instance, our first aid kit used to be really high up and out of reach because obviously I thought that was safer. But now that the boys are older, we actually use it so often. We need plasters, we need hay fever medication, we need creams and all kinds of things. Things. So I decided to move it and it's made my life so much easier. And equally, there were some electrical appliances that we don't actually use that often. So I have moved them out to the garage to make room for the things that we actually do use. Another huge time-saving tip is to get everything ready the night before. So in our house, we think about everything that we're gonna need the next day. We lay out the kids' clothes on the banister. I also lay out my clothes, even if it's just leggings and a t-shirt, nothing special. We think about what clubs they have. Do they have football? Do they have gymnastics? Do they have karate? Do they have swimming? Like there's just so much. Life is so busy and it's far easier to plan all of that the night before. The next hack helps me to manage the kids' clothes and I don't know if this will be relevant to everyone, but it's been so helpful for us. We have three boys and they're all catching each other up in size and I'm constantly 
constantly looking at labels when I'm folding laundry and I really wanted to like speed that up. So we've done a couple of things. So when it comes to the boys underwear or pants, we've made it so that one boy has all solid color underwear, one has all stripe and one has all camo. And that means it will also work when things are handed down as well. And when it comes to the kids school socks, because they wear school uniform, but all of the seven year old socks are just like all gray. And then all of the 10 year old socks have camo on the bottom. So when I'm folding the laundry, I can just quickly look and just know what pile it gets chucked into. <laughs> And when it comes to laundry, I've started to just chuck the boys things into a pile and then get the older boys to actually help me fold it and put it away. And this is saving me so much time and it's also giving them great life skills. And another huge time saving hack is to outsource things. You really don't have to be able to do it all, all of the time. And I feel like we should really move away from that culture and just play to our strengths. So obviously do the things that you're good at and that you like doing. But if you do have the money to outsource things, like say you hate cleaning why not get a cleaner every other week or if you need help with your business why not just get a VA to help you with that now that I've mentioned cleaning I also wanted to say that setting a timer on your phone is such a great way to speed up your cleaning time if you set a timer for 10 to 20 minutes you will be amazed at how much you can get done and it can really stop you from procrastinating if you're like right I'm gonna speed clean this room for only 10 minutes you'll be amazed how quickly you get stuff done another Another really cool time saving hack is to create a VIP photo album on your phone and then you can put anything important into that. So you can do things like screenshot um, school trip information or party invitations, but also you could take photos of things like your passport, your license, your national insurance number, all of that and have it in one place. And you can also add a password if you want to. And the last tip that I wanted to share with you is don't be afraid to have quick, easy dinners some nights for the kids I'll often make pancakes with bacon for dinner and it's literally their favorite or we'll also do things like beige buffets especially here in England when the kids get hot dinners for lunch if they're eating a roast dinner for lunch at school I think it's okay for them to like have a more relaxed like panini or sandwich for dinner. That's just me. And it's probably one of their favorite things. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have any other time-saving hacks, I would love to hear them. And don't forget the link is in my description for Blinkist if you want to try it out for free for a week. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.